Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the beautiful Blender add-on called Blend Shop. Now, this is a layer-based compositing tool, which we've already talked about on the channel before, but today we're taking a deep dive into how this tool actually works, as this is a compositing tool which would allow you to do a quick set of compositing directly in Blender without leaving Blender. This offers a few layers which you can use to dial things up and also dial things down. And today we're going to simply explore it just in case you want to figure out what this looks like before you make a purchase. And for those who like to find this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this right now. It is doing a 25% off. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. And with Blender simply open up right here, how we get things going is simple. All we need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and go over to the add-on section and install the add-on. And once you have the add-on installed, you need to specify the preset part. So this comes with preset and you've got to specify that part and you can click on import zip to asset library. And once you've got that, you can now simply go ahead, click on the bugger menu and save your preference. And once you've got that done, you can close. And then once you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that we've got it right here, blend shop. And for us to test how this works, let's take a look at the preset scene. So right here, we've got everything running. Blend shop is a full layer based compositing tool, which allows you to work with layers. So just like you would do with every other layer tool where you can turn on or turn off the layer, Yes, you can also go ahead and do the same thing here. And you'd also notice that this also comes with masks, which we're going to talk about in a bit. The same thing happens with all of these layers that you have here. You can create multiple kinds of layers and you can also reorder these layers up and down if you so choose to. Say, for example, you like the exposure to go all the way down here. You can use that and take it all the way down if you want it to go all the way up. You can also do the same thing and this works based off hierarchy it's also worth mentioning that this also has a blending mode which you can use to blend stuff together and you might also want to drop the opacity of any layer down or even crank it up depending on what you're trying to do so for example if we say we like this layer to be about two oh that's a lot then maybe we want to drop the opacity down we can also go ahead and do that and basically this is the gist of it but then if you're trying to create yours how do you get started and for that we're going to simply load up a scene which you created previously and then take a look at how you can start off from scratch to make your own compositing with this tool and so with our scene looking pretty what we can do is to tap in on the keyboard and now you'd notice that we've got the blend shop now from the blend shop we can do a lot of things at this point this compositing is set to disable you can either switch this to camera or to always very similar to what we have with the typical compositing tools that comes with blender but this just takes it up a notch because you've got layers and you can also throw things like mask and do a lot of interesting things with it so for the layers if you click on the plus button you can add layers all layers, color layers, filter layers, transform layers, blur layers, effect layers, and others. So if we like to simply have a color layer, and probably the color type we like to have here is a hue correct, an exposure, a color correction, or all that stuff, we can select it. In this case, I'm going to select the HSV so we can see some updates in real time in our viewport. So once we've got this, I can click on OK, and then this is going to be automatically applied to our scene. And from here, we can start making changes to the hue and saturation of our entire scene. So for example, if you just want to have a black and white scene and you don't want to go and composite that black and white scene afterwards, all you need to do is throw in a HSV and drop the saturation all the way down. And that's it. You can now render black and white as much as you want. Probably you want to have a more saturated scene. Of course you can. You can also go ahead and do all of that. Now there's a couple of interesting things I believe a lot of you guys may want to also know and that might include masking. So in this case, all I need to do is simply have the HSV selected, click here where we have the mask, and then we can edit the mask. So if I click on that button, we can click on add mask, and we've got two types of mask at this point. And so for us to see it, let's simply dive all the way back and play with the HSV. And now you see, we can now spot it. And because we'll probably just want to make change to this particular vehicle and not the entire scene, what we'll do is just leave the HSV the way it is, Go all the way back here, click on the edit type, go all the way down, and we can make adjustments to the size and the width of the mask that we we're just working with. And once we've got this going, the next thing we need to do is just simply go all the way down and we can do a couple of interesting things. If we would like to play with the type of mask, we do have that here, so we can multiply that if we want. We can also choose to subtract that if we want, and we can do a simple add. If we like to blur this so that we don't have the sharp edges, we can. We can simply crank the blur all the way up and that way we would have this sort of feel to the entire piece that we're working with. 
Of course, if you're also thinking about inverting this, you can also do a simple inversion and you can crank this back and forth if you want. And we can choose to add more layers. So if we simply go over to a layer section, we can change this to filters. And from this filter, we can throw in a denoise filter. We can throw in a Kuwahara filter. Let's actually take a look at that. So once we throw in a Kuwahara filter, this is going to give us more of painting sort of feel to the entire scene. And this also comes with options of you being able to play with the size. And then if you want to work with mask, you can also throw in a simple mask right there and use this mask to play with the way you would like the Kuwahara to affect your entire scene generally. And for sure, if you like to throw in a bit of glare here and there, you can. So if we click on the plus sign, we can also go ahead and throw in a simple glare, click on OK. And now we do have glare. And with this, we can choose to play with the size of the glare. So maybe we would like to increase that. Yes, we can. If we also think about mixing this, we can also do that. If we like to play with the quality of the glare, we can also proceed to do all of this. There's also different kinds of glare that currently exist and you can simply play with these things to get the right result that you want for your scene in general. The creator has also mentioned that artists can be able to export their own composition. So if you click on this button, you should be able to export your own composition by simply using the export zip file that exists here. And so with this, you can export it for every other person to be able to use. And how do you use that, you ask? How you can use this is very, very easy. Remember, when we started off, we did talk about presets that you can install and those presets are right here. So let's just simply go ahead and get rid of all of what we've got here and take a look at some of the preset that currently comes with this. And for that, I'm going to move our camera just about a point like so, so we can have this more or less action scene, all right, which isn't, but then let's just agree to disagree that this is one. So with this here, if we would like to use the preset which comes with this, you can go ahead and select any of the ones that exist here. Camera effect 001, sounds good. Let's click on this button to import that and automatically, this is going to do all of the heavy lifting. And we've got ourselves an amazing scene. And this allows you to travel across your model. And, you know, if you've always wanted to have a shot like this, you no longer need to start building these things yourself. Just get this add-on, throw in this effect, and then dial things how you want. Probably you think the chromatic abrasion is too much. You can go ahead and dial the chromatic abrasion all the way down. Probably want to increase that. Okay, you can go ahead and do that. All of these are fully animated. So just in case there is an effect you're trying to animate, you can also do all of this. If there is any effect you're also thinking about making changes to, just like we looked at, you can also go ahead and change those effects and get the right effect that you want for yourself by simply fiddling with the preset. And there's more presets that currently exist. So just in case you just want to start off from something, you don't want to start off from a clean plate, you want to start off off something, you can simply go ahead and explore all of these. And now let's talk about a few things I believe a lot of you guys might be saying, and this is the fact that the Compositor is doing all of this under the hood. And yes, it is. The Compositor is definitely doing all of this under the hood. However, this is a full layering system because, you know, if we go all the way to the glare, for example, and we choose to do a full mixing of this glare, or maybe we simply go over to the blur tool and we choose to play with the size of the blur, crank this all the way down. The amount of quality that you achieve with this is not necessarily something you can achieve with this amount of ease when working with the compositing node. And this is where this tool just shines. And tons of things have been put in place just to make your life easy when you're using a tool like this. And the same thing can be said for almost everything from Cassie Sheep, as Cassie Sheep does have a huge set of things that he has already created over time, which includes the blend shop, the real cloud, the stylized trees, the node organizer, the better lighting, lazy VFX, real water, geo sign, all of these are just here to make your life easy. So if you want to get any of these things and probably you want to make your life super easy, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check these things out. And the same thing can also be said for Black Deer. So Black Deer and Cassie Sheep have been working together for some time now, and they've also created a good number of tools that would also make your life super easy. So if you're thinking about adding that imperfections to your model, you want something that is super easy that you can control quickly and get on with it, then the detail effects is here. Here is also the explode effects, which is a fire explosion smoke VDB library, which comes with tons of tools that you can work with. 
The same thing can be said for the node effects as well. And this is super, super cool. Another creator that is also doing the Lord's work is Miyu. And probably you like to see more stuff that you can get for 25% off right now. Then links to this is going to be in the description as well. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.